Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Rangers. We're about to take on Kilmarnock at Murrayfield, Celtic are away at Somerset Park against Ayr. Uh, don't see second and third place actually playing today. Are they playing? They must be playing tomorrow. Yep, second place Hearts are away at third place Hibs. We've lost once to Kilmarnock, beaten them 18 times and drawn three. They're way down the bottom of the table. Should be an easy enough victory for us here. Maybe rotate a little bit. I'll bring Barjonas in for Paez there. Uh, I'll, allow, mm, I'll allow Alberto Chiacchieri to start rather than Walter Molina. Just trying to uh, rotate boys here. It's a little difficult now that we've got such a strong squad. But I'll go with this. I will go with McCrory, Coaster, Denswell, Lastly, Alexander Arnold, Edelman, Moore, Barjonas, Mixa, Morelos, and Chiacchieri. <clears throat> four four two from uh, from Kelly here, Moreira on loan from Benfica. They looks an okay player, but I think we should be able to deal with all of these boys without too many too many problems. By and lastly, I've just actually noticed uh, looks a bit gubbed out there, but we'll get him to half time and then we'll take him off for for Manuel Riedel. Then swap the coaster. We've hardly packed the stadium out today. I guess the fans are probably bored of us just slapping teams now. As I say that, it is uh, it's ten minutes in and we're not exactly slapping Kilmarnock. No no real chances created. Three shots, none on target though. And Kilmarnock have the free kick now as Moreira delivers it in. It's headed away by Edelman. Alexander Arnold finds Mixa, that's a great ball. Keep running and whip it back stick. Or he goes oh, he tries back stick, it's cleared away by Medford Smith only as far as Lastly. Edelman now, Burjonas. Can he pick a pass? <laughs> nope, he hits it off his own man. Cleared long for Levy to Oliver in behind. Denswell does well to cut that ball out. Oliver out wide to Tavares. Goes down the line for Felivi. It's easy for Bilal Coaster to cover. Back to McCrory. Out to Denswell and we start from the back. Coaster, McCrory. Lastly, and it's so easy for them to play it around. Lastly goes long. What a pass that is. Alberto Giacchetti in with the left foot. Mixa back to Edelman. Morelos takes it down and finishes. It's a lovely hit into the corner of the net from Alfredo Morelos. Great ball in by uh, Marcel Edelman there, getting himself yet another assist. And we are off and running. Hopefully that should be the floodgates open now as Danny Hernandez plays it long, looking for Oliver. Lastly heads it only as far as McKenzie. Go on, Edelman gets stuck into him. Goes into Undebarena, switches play. Tavares, Moreira, they're passing it about quite well here, Kelly. It's a bit of a loose one though. Tavares does maintain possession. It goes deep. Edelman gets it away. Of course he does. Barjonas bringing it clear now. Down to Chiacheri. Takes it into feet. Moore. Got Alexander-Arnold wide. Goes himself. It's a terrible effort. Trickles harmlessly by the post. Corner. Moore in. Away. Hit it Barjonas. Nope. Tees up Chiacheri. Oof. There was no stopping that. Barely arrived at his feet before he'd hammered it into the net. 2-0, that should pretty much be game set match. Can you see Kelly coming back from 2-0 down here? They've not even had a shot yet. And we are just on another planet at the moment from all these other teams. This would put a 17 clear of Celtic with one in hand. But Jonas to Mixa to Morelos to Chiacheri beats his man. Great save by Hernandez. Should be 3-0 though. Whipped in, headed away by Tavares, Burjonas clips it in, Chiacheri, ah, oh, it just drags a shot wide of the post. Moore with a free kick, oh, he's hit the woodwork, I thought that was heading. Kelly just trying to hang on to 2-0 for half time here. Medford Smith, Underbrena, Medford Smith, blocked by Burjonas, does go back to Underbrena though. Moreira to McKenzie. Tries to play it around the corner to Oliver. Easy for Lastly. Edelman, Burjonas. Look, look long, son. Chiacheri, Moore. Yep, Alexander Arnold in space. That's a poor ball, though. Clark Long. Coaster cuts it out. Only as far as Oliver. Felivi, has got a bit of space. Goes to McKenzie, though, thankfully. And Unda Barena, McKenzie. They look a decent unit, Kelly. They're just not quite on our level. Edelman to Burjonas. Morelos, nice touch, out to Edelman, continue to run, puts it in, mix it on a plate, what a move that is. Edelman gives it in, keeps going down the left hand side, gets it back, puts it on a plate, and all three of the strikers have scored now. 3-0 Rangers, we're going to have time. 
or not, maybe maybe worse. Now we're in Morelos, it is worse, it is 4-0 Rangers as we go into half-time. Clipped in there by Conor Moore, headed in by Morelos for number 10 of the season. And this will make us 11 wins from 11. 39 goals scored, 3 goals conceded. And Celtic are still being held 0-0 by Air United, would you believe? Brian Lassley coming out for Riedel now because he's knackered. And we'll throw Dapo Mabudi in there for Rivas Mixa. And Kelly will just be trying to keep this one for becoming a cricket score, I think. Moreira into Folivi now. Goes back the way. I think that's going to pretty much sum up Kilmarnock today. There's some neat wee passes and stuff, but they had a chance to go forward there and they chose to go back. Dents will... Oh, he's tried to catch the keeper out there. That's a good save in the end by Danny Hernandez. But Jonas's corner to Riedel, Morelos, Moore. And as try as he might, Danny Fernandez can't quite get back across to claw it out the net. Connor Moore now an assist and a goal for the young man from midfield. And it is 5-0. It could well become a cricket score in the end here. Clark's throw right to Moore. Morelos losing it to Moreira goes forward. Oliver now out wide to McKenzie. Oliver looks half dead. McKenzie just about beats Edelman with a bit of luck whipped in. Alexander Arnold away only as far as Moreira. Should have did better there. Moore will nick it though. But Jonas looks long over the top, cut out by Benny, only as far as Alexander Arnold. Cut out again. Clark Tavares under Barena goes over the top. Felivi peels out wide, clips it inside. Oliver taken out by Manuel Riedel for a pen. Come on, McCrory, keep your clean sheet. It's Benny versus McCrory, and it is in. It is 5-1, our fourth goal we've conceded now. And Benny actually cut out the long ball there from Barjonas over the top there to avoid us getting through on goal. So I suppose if MD's going to take the penalty, he deserves it. And it's Chia Cherry. Ah, it's a poor effort. I never fancied him there for some reason. Just thought he was going to mess, mess it up. Moore in, away by Clark Barjonas. Quickly to Chia Cherry. Oh, he was never missing that. Hernandez got his gloves on it and he's absolutely leathered it past him for six. Morelos and Chia Cherry both on for a hat trick now. That's Clark, clips it out to McKenzie for Kilmarnock. McKenzie's still going, it's a terrible effort from McKenzie there. I think we'll take out Marcel Edelman, Sam Byron will come on, Alexander Arnold switches to the left. And it's pretty much just about ticking out the clock now. Celtic still being held by air at Somerset Park. Alexander-Arnold off injured. We'll move Byram into a defensive midfield position. He can't really play there, but we're 6-1 up with 10 minutes left, so who cares? Well, I think Celtic just grabbed the goal. Byram now, could we get 7? Chia Cherry loses it. Kenzie goes long, easy for Riedel. Back to McCrory. Coaster, Byram, or Jonas, so easy here, Moore, lovely one twos, oh Moore's giving it right to Unda Barena, Denswell cuts out the long ball, only as far as Moreira, Folivi goes wide, Kobo, McKenzie, decent ball in, Caddis is in acres and Ryan Caddis, seems to like a goal against us Ryan Caddis, apparently a first goal back there after a long layoff, 6-2, looks like it's going to end up being the score here. I've had a good few games with Kilmarnock that have ended with six goal six goal returns. Caddis has returned and Rory McKenzie makes it 6-3-2. Last gasp goals by Kilmarnock and they have scored as many goals against us today as the other ten teams have when we played them. It's pretty grim that, but hey. 6-3 victory in the end. 92nd and 93rd minute is a bit annoying, but... Who cares? Well done, lads. This was actually the scoreline when Kilmarnock beat us the only game. 6-3 It was uh, in, obviously, in Kilmarnock's favour. Yep, Celtic with the 85th and 90th minute goals. They are now 15 points behind, but we, of course, have a game in hand to make that 18. Two weeks, uh, sorry, three to four weeks, Alexander-Arnold. He'll miss the CSK Moscow game in a, uh, in a minute, but Sam Byram, a more than capable deputy for him. Curtis Francesi scoring his air beat Peter Head. Good for him. Not really improving all that much though. Anybody else have a good game? Nope. Doesn't it look like it. Right, it's on to CSKA now. 
we put nine past them out in Moscow, we should easily be able to beat them here at Murrayfield. Secure our qualification next round of the Champions League. Hearts v Hibs. We draw would be nice. A we draw would be very nice indeed. 12 points clear of Hearts with a game in hand. 13 points clear of Hibs. As we go into the beginning of November here, the league is in the bag. We're not going to drop. We probably won't even drop as many points as we have as a gap right now. I'll be surprised if we drop 13, 14 points all season. And that's what we need to... That's what we need to drop. With all those other teams not dropping a single point, we would need to drop 50 points. There's no way. We've won the league, basically. First 11 games have almost sealed the title already. Porto versus Barcelona today will be an interesting one. I'd expect Barca to beat them, but given that it's in Portugal, you never know. We've played them three times. We've beaten them all three times. Barcelona three points behind us on six, Porto are six points behind us, CSKA nine behind. Win today against CSKA and qualification is absolutely guaranteed. Ian Fulton will come back in for Robbie McCrory. Alexander-Arnold surrenders his place on the bench to Murray Wallace. Christian Perez is back in for Barjonas. Rodrigo Fassi returns for Moore. Moore's been playing really well recently, so that might be a bit harsh on him. But at the end of the day, our main man is, uh, is Rodrigo Fassi. Alberto Chiacheri goes back to the right and Walter Molina will be on the left. So we'll have Fulton... Hold on. There we go, take Coaster out for Riedel. We'll have Fulton, Riedel, Denswell, Lastly, Byram, Edelman, Fassi, Pérez, Chia, Cherry, Morelos and Molina. How is Coaster developing, actually? Yeah, he's doing okay. He's 19, still no great. It doesn't look like he'll ever be a sort of Walter eh, Walter Molina. It doesn't look like he'll ever be a kind of Manuel Riedel level player, but he could be a decent solid player. Probably, I'd say he's probably a little bit better than Murray Wallace. So he's a good player. He's a good solid player, but I don't think he'd be a main man in a trio at the back. I think Manuel Riedel definitely, obviously, a main man at the back. Absolutely wonderful player. Uh, Denswell can do it at the moment. But I think over the next couple of years we'll be looking for more in line with Riedel. But Chia Cherry delivers it low. Half an hour gone. Lodigan gets his gloves on the ball. Hopefully he'll do that a couple of times as he's picking it out the net as the game goes. They've went relatively conservative. A flat back four with two mid uh, holding midfielders in there to protect. And then just one central midfielder. Two wingers and the one striker. So we should hopefully be able to play it out pretty comfortably for the back. Pay is in. Lastly in acres. Chia Cherry blocked. But unfairly it is a penalty. Barcelona 3 up already in Portugal as Morelos takes the penalty Rangers are 1-0 up already in Edinburgh it's 11th of the season let's encourage them to press forward here and see if we can see if we can rack up another cricket score here Pérez delivers it it's fallen to Denswell and it's in but is it onside? it is indeed Stefano Denswell assisted by Alberto Ciacchieri 2-0 already and CSKA Moscow look like they're in all sorts of trouble Brooks Clayson Classen. it's a very loose ball all the way across the park it does get to Mac though Zagwev Mac looks for small off Denswell back to Fulton and Riedel we just switch the angle on it and all, all of a sudden we'll get tons of space Fassi over the top finds Morelos who's on his bike quickly and finishes what a finish Morelos 3-0 to Rangers after only 25 minutes and CSKA Moscow have been given an absolute battering they must hate the sight of us already Zagwev to Mac switching it there's a huge overlap there yep Canner whips it in away by Lasley Pérez now Morelos there should be space for Chiacheri there is indeed he's been found by Morelos but he's just clipped it right into Lodigan's gloves that's an absolute waste from Chiacheri there Pretty much standard. Oh, as I say that, Chanel whips it in. Back in, away by Denswell, over the top. Run, Molina! Lodigan is just going to beat Molina to that. Riedel will play it back to Fulton. Don't know why he did that. Should have went forward with that one. Byram over the top. Chia Cherries cut them open with a run. Finds Morelos. 
It looked a bit of a howler from uh, Lodigan there, but it is a hat trick for Morelos. And we're going to go in at half time with the same scoreline as we did against Kilmarnock 4 0 to Rangers. Porto have a goal back against Barcelona, but they're 4 1 up at half time. I think that game is all already decided as well. Morelos will come off for Fieti Arp, and we will throw Bill Alcoster in for Manuel Riedel, who is on a booking. But we're absolutely gunning for the Champions League title this season. Uh, Simon Kier gets it forward, Klassen, and Porto all of a sudden through Isaac's success have another goal back. Whipped in towards Mack, away by Edelman, Boateng to Zagwev. Robert Mack again, beats a challenge, whips it in, and Victor Klassen, I'm going to go with Klassen. Victor Klassen makes it 4-1. Gutted, but there you go. Denswell, Piers, Coaster, if we can score now and make it 5-1, then I'll take the hit. It's worth conceding if we're going to score more. Chia Cherry delivers it low, and Fieti Arp absolutely bullets it past Lodigan. Push forward. We want an absolute cricket score here. We want to just rack up the goals as Artem Zubia comes on for CSKA. Payas whips in the corner. Arp cannot win the header. Boateng will get there. It's an absolute jog. Who is this? Payas, an absolute jog to try and beat Boateng to the ball. Baumgartlinger out to Klassen, back to Klassen, and Zagwev acres of space to get a shot away, but Ian Fulton more than equal to it. Brian Lassie will come off for Murray Wallace. And we could have a chance here to get forward. Byram, Fassi, over the top. Chia Cherry, lovely ball into feet. Payas out wide to Edelman. He's got Molina around the corner. Molina can finish. Oh, he can he half. What an effort from Walter Molina. Clips it right across the goal into the side net and on the far side. And it is 6 1. Second game in a row, we've scored six goals. If we can get two more today, we'll average six goals across our Champions League campaign. Fassi to pick it up here. Come on, get us a seventh. Byram clips it out for Payes. It goes to Murray Wallace in the end. Zubia just looked like he took a swipe there. Wallace forced wide. Good ball though to Denswell. All the orange shirts are on the left, so it goes to Byram on the right. Gia Cherry. It's spilled by Lodigan. That is a howler from the keeper as Walter Marlina has his second goal. What a howler. Tell them to push forward here, try and get. That extra goal that will give us the average of six goals per game. Mack gives it right to Byron. Payes unfortunately gives it to Fry. Zubia flicks the header. And Artem Zubia has flicked it right over Ian Fulton. Now Ian Fulton still has a 7.4. We're conceding a goal like that. Kevin Nestor actually has Porto back at 4-3 against Barca. Walter Molina now squares it up. Fieti up. It is 8-2 to Rangers here. Come on, get 10 goals. I don't con don't care if you concede another three in the process. I want double figures. It's such a rare thing to achieve. Lodigan goes long. Come on, 10 minutes to get the two of them. Edelman over the top. Arp takes it down. Finish it, son. He does finish it. It is 9-2. I'm just going to praise them right now. I'm not going to say push forward over and over again. That's amazing. Morelos gets a hat-trick in the first half. Arp comes on for him at half-time, gets a hat-trick in the second half. And I probably should have said push forward because they seem to have just took their foot off the gas after they got the praise. And it looks like it'll be ending 9-2. I thought we were disappointed with nine goals. Wallace to Byram round the corner. Oh, maybe a chance. Chia Cherry. Nah, he's holding it up rather than driving. Bynum's cross easily blocked, breaks to Robert Mack, over the top for Zubia, but Coaster cuts it out, Fulton goes along, and it will just end now, Art flicks it on to Molina, Brooks will pick it up, 10 seconds to go, it goes back to Lodigan, knocks it along, we've scored 18 goals in the two games against CSKA Moscow, that is insane, I actually just realised as well, what we were seeing before was the goal difference rather than goals scored, so we could already be averaging more than 6 goals a game. Uh, let's just see and they actually hold on Barcelona uh, Javier Santisteban Santisteban whatever he's called wanted by Monaco he scored all the goals for them in the Champions League there uh, there's a 
couple of lone E players playing today as well. We've already qualified for the knockout round. We're basically top the group. Uh, where are we? Group B. Uh, da, 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 stages. Group B. Rangers. We've scored 28 goals in four games. We're averaging seven goals per game. Mental. Scored nine against CSK this time. Nine last time. Seven against Barcelona. And then three against Porto. We are against Porto next time out in Portugal. A chance to extend that. Uh, well, next time out in the Champions League. It'll not be next episode. Next episode is a wee bit of a double header there with Celtic and Dunfermline. Or will we do a... Mm. Now, do you know what? We'll do an old firm special next time. Just the Celtic game. A shorter episode. And then we'll do Dunfermline and Portugal. Eh, Portugal. I keep going to say Porto, Dunfermline and Porto will do them back to back. So we'll do it like that. One one game special for Celtic and then Dunfermline and Porto. So hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Seven no, fifteen goals scored, five goals conceded. A bit annoyed about the five goals conceded, but they were absolutely meaningless. So we're not too bothered about that. Perfect in the league still. Getting into mid November now. Can't really ask for more, but it will be uh, probably our first real test this season against Celtic I suppose you could argue Barcelona and Porto away were a, were a significant test but away to Celtic Park is still tricky I mean if you look at last season the end of last season uh, we played them at home played them on neutral ground where is it yeah when we played them away uh, February last season we did lose 5-2 so you never know we were still playing uh, where are we we're playing Murray Wallace in there but really a lot of the squad is the same Edelman, Pérez, Riedel, Chiacheri, Fassi, Molina, Morelos, they were all playing, so it is still a tough game, the old firm. But as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have done, please drop down below uh, and give us a like on the video. And of course, subscribe to follow the season as we go here, as we're trying to win the Champions League before the release of Football Manager 2019. Hope to see you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for that quick one-off episode. Uh, one-off... One-game episode when we play Celtic. Can I speak today? Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.